I, um, I just want to share a little story with you about manifestation and how we get like what our dominant vibration is as opposed to just what we think we're thinking about. Okay. Um, now this happened to me last year and in March I had to come up with like a hunk of money for stuff around my strata. And then in June I had car insurance. August I had house insurance. I was getting my website redone. So that was another chunk of change I had to come up with. Then I had another assessment at my strata in September. So I had all of these extras. Okay. None of them were humongous, but it was, it was enough, right? Like, <laughs> you know, you're not taking that out of all your regular income that comes in every month. Anyway, so I was, of course, right? It's like, oh, I'll just manifest more money. And I was, I was manifesting more money, but I was also concerned, right? At all of these extra expenses. And like I say, none of them were huge, but it was just like, oh, now this thing, now this thing, now this thing. Every month I've got like an extra expense that's like a couple of grand or a thousand dollars or hundreds, right? Anyway, so of course, that was kind of my dominant vibration, right? When I was being conscious of it, I was thinking about where, like, bringing in money and manifesting money. Now, when I was being unconscious about it, I was thinking about what a pain in the butt all of these extra payments were, okay? So, anyway, so in August, I go for a hike with my friends, and we go into the middle of the forest, and I was driving, and I'm backing up and it was a sunny day and it was up a dirt road. So my car, my back window was all dusty and everything. And I'm, the sun's shining in and I'm backing up and there was a big dumpster there for bears. Okay. Those things are very, very heavy duty dumpsters, right? And wouldn't you know, I, I backed right into the thing and I backed into it rather hard because I couldn't see it at all. Anyway, so I back into this thing and I get out and I look and wouldn't you know it, it really crunched up my car like it wasn't just a ding you can ignore. So I phoned my insurance company and everything and I had a $500 deductible for the trunk of my car. <laughs> and I was like, okay, so rather than I, I, you know, this has been my life for decades now, right? So I don't go into a victimhood mode. I go into a holy moly was my, like my vibration is one of, I've got all of these stupid things I have to pay for. And they're stupid things and none of them were huge, but they were all a pain in the butt. They all took a little more than, than just my regular income and everything else. So because that was so much of my dominant vibration, I actually created another 500 bucks that I had to come up with that was outside of the norm, okay? So if you're trying to manifest something and, you know, like you're, you're trying to manifest money, but your dominant vibration and thoughts and feelings and the feelings that have all of that energy with it, good or bad, um, are of all the bills you have to pay, right? Like you could think about manifesting money, but you don't normally or often have the same intense emotions that you do when you're scared or worried about your bills. And it's those intense, repetitive feelings, thoughts, and emotions that are going to manifest for things for you, okay? So next time, if so something happens to you, like dump backing into a big bear bin that you don't see, um, instead of getting mad and saying, oh, look it, here's another thing, right, to add to this pile, maybe look at it, laugh at yourself and say, now I know beyond a doubt what my dominant vibration is and I best change it lest I create way more of this stuff. 
Hopefully you find this helpful. I'm sure you've got an example or two in your own life. And things truly do snowball, but they could snowball for the bad or they could snowball for the good. So, you know, if you notice something and it's not really wanted, change your vibration. Okay, till next time. Much love. Thank you.